Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another mountain trout fishing adventure. I'm at this beautiful lake right here behind me, going for some tiger trout and rainbow trout. And I got a couple other lakes in mind that we can try fishing later, but I don't know, we'll just have to see. But before we get to fishing, I'm hungry and I did bring breakfast with me. So we're gonna cook a little food and then get fishing. So for today's breakfast, folks, we have some Mountain House Adventures biscuits and gravy breakfast. Dehydrated biscuits and gravy. I have never had these before, so I figured we have to give them a try. I love biscuits and gravy, but I don't know if I like ones that come from a bag. All right, look at that. Interesting. boiling we'll pour it in the bag seal it up and then wait about five to ten minutes and then we'll see how it turns out all right water is boiling let's go ahead and turn it off and then we'll pour straight into the biscuits and gravy that should be good we'll seal it up and then we'll just let it sit and that hot water cooks it, and uh, somehow we'll get biscuits and gravy. Take a look. Mmm, that doesn't look too bad, actually. There's a good bite. Now to be honest, out of all the dehydrated meals I've had, this is probably my least favorite, and that's not to say it's not good, just not my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we're gonna get fishing because there's fish surfacing right here in front of me. And I actually tossed in a few times while this was cooking and I got followed by some trout. So I think they're ready to be caught. Mm. All right, my friends, it is fishing time. If you look at the water, it's actually quite stained. It's still, you know, fairly clear. There's at least probably two foot of visibility and that usually doesn't affect the fishing too bad in fact it can help it and like I said I've already seen some smaller trout just up on shore right here let's give it a first cast oh there's a bite Something just smacked it. I think we'll go ahead and tie on this pink rooster tail. Really stands out in this dingy water. Let's try the pink spinner. There we go. There we go, finally. It's taken like 30 minutes to get a solid bite, but here we go. He's staying down, looks just like a rainbow. Nothing too special. Oh, he's pulling pretty good. Oh, and got him. Nice. He was probably stocked last year because he's a little bit bigger. Still not huge, but. Oh, oh, and he's gonna get away. It's not a bad fish to start on. Not what we're after, we're mainly after the tiger trout in here. There's lots of rainbows too that we're gonna have to weed through. Sweet, get them back. I wonder if any fish ever get into this little creek. Probably. Oh, there's one. That was a tiger. That was a tiger. I just got bit right there by a big orange fish. That was a tiger trout. Shoot. There we go. Fish on. He's either really little or he's coming right to me. Oh, no. There he is. Another rainbow. Just a little squirt. And got him. 
Hey, we're catching fish. I won't complain about that. Here we go. There's a bite. There we go. Ah, another rainbow. It's a nice one. Get him back. <clears throat> there we go. Hooked up. Hooked up, and this is the smallest one so far. Just flip him up here. Look at that. That is not what we're after. Hey man, if there's any tiger trout down there, please tell them to bite. Thank you. There we go. Ooh. Another rainbow. That's a nice rainbow though, holy cow. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, 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 hey. Over here, over here. Over here. Yes! It's probably the biggest one of the day, just by a little bit. Oh. And there he goes. There we go, guys. Hooked up. Hooked up. What do we have here? Oh, what is that? Is that a rain? No, it's a tiger. There we go, guys. Tiger, tiger. Look at that. He's going all the way up on shore. Look at that. Oh, that is a beautiful tiger. Now, this is what we're after right here. Check that out. Come here. Come here. Got him. Yes. <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh, and he just popped off the hook. He just popped off the hook. Look at that. Man. Look how beautiful that is. Holy cow. I'm kind of tempted to keep him. I am going to keep some fish today for sure, but we're still fairly early on in the day. And I want to fish some other spots too, so we'll let this guy go. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. Nice. Ooh, look at this beautiful little lake. Oh, and I can see fish already. I can see fish already right there surfacing. Oh, there's fish right there. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Oh my gosh, guys, there's fish everywhere right here. Let's see if they want this fly. Ah! Ah, he came right over and ate it. How did I miss that? There we go. There we go, on the fly. I watched him come out and eat that. Just a little guy, really little. Look at that, itty bitty little rainbow. Super, super skinny too, look at that. Holy cow, not a very healthy fish at all. But we got him on a fly, that's all that matters. Let him go. Oh, there goes one, right there. Watch this. Got him. <laughs> I spooked him from offshore, tossed the fly at him, and we catch him. Another really skinny rainbow. I'd like to keep a fish out of here, but if they're all like this, I don't really want to. There he goes. There's got to be something other than just rainbows in here. There's got to be some brook trout or some tigers or something. I'm not sure. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Those fish are going crazy for it. Oh, <laughs> instant. Instant, he grabbed it. Look, there's three others chasing him. There's one, there's another one. These fish are so skinny. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to flip them up here. They weigh almost nothing. They're paper thin. I mean, no wonder they're so aggressive towards my fly. They're, they're starving in here. There you go. There we go. 
That's the biggest one. Healthiest looking one so far. There we go. Barbless fly just comes out like that. Got him right there. Oh, ho, ho. it's so fun watching them come up and just take your fly. And that is the smallest one. Holy cow. <sighs> All right, so I got a little marabou jig on. Let's see if we can get any other species. There we go. There we go. Whoa, look at that jump. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's the nicest one. Oh, that is the nicest one for sure. Look at that. Well, that is a better fish. That's the biggest rainbow. Still pretty skinny. Not gonna keep him. It's the biggest one. There he goes. Well, I'm starting to think I'm not gonna catch anything else but little <laughs> stalker rainbows like that. So I got one more lake I wanna try and hopefully we can get some that we can cook because I'm getting hungry and uh, I'm getting tired of catching these little small rainbows. So let's go. All right, guys, new day. The last clip you probably just saw was me catching all those little skinny rainbow trout out of that pond. And after that, I was just not having it and I wanted to go home. But today is a new day and I'm hiking into a little lake. Never been here before, so I don't know what to expect. There's probably some rainbow trout, but there might be some brookies or some tigers as well. We'll just have to see. Oh, here we are, folks. Check that out. Wow. Well, this is beautiful. Never been here before. It looks like the water's down quite a bit. So I'm just gonna walk around the shore here, see if I can see any fish, see if there's a deep spot that looks good. You know, it sounds like there's a creek. I can hear running water, and it looks like there's a creek that's running in right over there. That might be the ticket. Oh, there goes a fish. There goes a fish. It was hiding right here. Oh, there's a bunch of fish right there. Oh, brook trout, brook trout. Oh, oh my goodness. Guys, I stepped on this log and I could see a school. They're still down there. There's a school of like 20 brook trout. I just spooked them. But guys, fish confirmed, fish confirmed. Let's try tossing the spinner out there. Okay, you know what? I think I spooked them pretty good. So I'm just gonna step off this log here and I'm gonna let those fish rest and then we're gonna come back, see if we can get some of them. So I took that spinner off and we got a little marabou jig on. And we need to find a little deep pocket where there's gonna be some fish stacked up and just toss this right in there. There was a bite. I just got hit. I just got hit. Oh! Oh! One just chased it and got right up to it and then decided no. What the heck, man? Eat my jig. What's wrong with it? Whoa! Instant, instant. Oh my goodness. Tossed my jig in and instantly he hit it. Nice little brook trout. There's a couple following him too. Ooh, nice. Check it out, folks. You know what that is right there? That is dinner. That is dinner. Whew. We usually let the first fish of the day go, but I don't know how many more fish we're gonna catch today, honestly, and I really wanna have a nice trout dinner. All right, so I just killed this trout. We're just gonna set them right here while we keep fishing. If I can just get one or two more fish to cook, that will be perfect. And that fish came out of nowhere. I tossed in right here, and I just see him come straight up and grab it. And I saw at least two other fish following him, so they're still down there. Oh, 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 oh! One came all the way up to it. 
they come in hot and then they swim away because they can sense something's up with it. Oh, got him. There we go. Oh, dang it. Ah. Hooked up, guys. I turned my camera off and uh, we hooked up. Not a huge fish, but it's a fish. A little bit smaller than that last one. But I'll take it, man. I will take it. Look at that. Hmm, I think we're gonna keep this one too. All right, then we'll just set her down next to our other fish. And look at that, now we have two beautiful brook trout. All right, let's see what else is down there. That guy bit it on the fall. I didn't even really twitch it that much. Oh, there was one. Ah, dang it. There was one. There we go. Hooked up. Another one. Look at that. Beautiful. Get over here. Oh, barely hooked, barely hooked. Barely hooked, hey, 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 got him. Got him. Look at that, oh, and the hook just popped out. The jig just popped out. Check it out. Look at that one. That might be the prettiest one of the day. And you know what, guys? This is gonna be the third and final fish we keep. Our limit is four, but I wanna keep fishing later. So I'm only gonna keep three. And uh, this is a nice one. So heck yeah. There we go, folks. Those are our three keeper trout. Seems like all the fish I've seen out there have been about this size, probably 10, 11, 12 inch range. So no giants, but you know, they're decent little brook trout. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and clean these guys out and get cooking because I'm hungry. We're gonna have a little early dinner and then we're gonna keep fishing. All right, we're gonna fillet these fish because I need them boneless. Um, I wish they were a little bit bigger because I usually don't want to fillet small trout like this, but we're gonna do the best we can to get every little bit of meat off this guy. All right guys, for today's recipe, we have some seasoned crispy fish fry breading, some Cajun seasoning, and then we have our trout fillets all cleaned out right here. It took me a while because I made sure to get all the little pin bones out of these fillets. Um, took me a while, but hopefully it'll be worth it. All right, first things first, let's get our propane going. And while our oil's heating up, I'm gonna take an egg in this little bag. And we'll take our breading, put it in this bag. This stuff is really, really good. I like it a lot. It's already seasoned, and I know from experience it is very flavorful all on its own, but we're gonna add just a little Cajun just to give it that extra kick. All right, now we'll take our fillets drop them in the egg mixture. And we'll go ahead and get these all coated. Just like that. And we'll take our fillets and put them in the bag. Hopefully they'll all fit. In fact, I'm gonna add a little more batter in there. All right, let's seal this up. Go ahead and mix it up. Make sure they all get covered. All right guys, our oil's hot enough and I can tell because a raindrop just fell in it and uh, it's, it's bubbling pretty good. Look at that. Perfectly coated. We'll set them in. Okay, not sizzling like I thought. There we go. We're not going to be able to do all of them at the same time. 
but uh, they won't take very long to cook. All right, these guys are definitely done. So go ahead and take our little plate here, set them on the napkins and let them dry out. Go ahead and take our other pieces. Set them in there. Now we'll give these a few minutes on each side. But now let's try these guys out. Crispy brook trout cooked right on the lake. And I forgot the one thing that I always forget, and that is lemon. If I had a lemon to squeeze over these, it would be perfect, but I'm sure they'll still be good. Ooh, very hot. And that is good. That spice is coming through all right, but that is delicious. Look at that. Pink meat. Mmm. Check that out, folks. Some fresh, crispy, fried brook trout right by the lake. We just got some little crispy trout nuggets. Just looks like chicken. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm. Mmm. They're actually really spicy, guys. I I put a good amount of Cajun seasoning in there, and I can definitely feel it. Last piece of brook trout. Mm. All gone. All right, folks, after a delicious trout meal, we're gonna fish out the last little bit of day, try to catch some more brook trout. Ooh, that looks good right there. It's nice and deep. Got a big beaver dam right here. Oh, oh, is that a fish? We got a big beaver dam right here. Oh, oh, he's right there. One just came out. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Let's see if there's any hiding just right there. Oh, yep, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. There's one right there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Go! Oh, oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he came after it twice. Come on. Oh, oh, got him, got him. Oh, it's a tiger, it's a tiger. Check it out, check it out. Oh, got him, yes. Check it out. Yes. Guys, I switched to this little purple uh, streamer, I think it is. I don't even think it's a jig. I think it's a streamer for fly fishing. Switched to that, and this guy came up, and he, he hit it three times before he finally committed. All right, there we go. Nice little fish, we're gonna send him back. Ha <laughs> ha, heck yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, I got a bite. <laughs> and then a fish jumped right there, right there, right there. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm gonna have to flip him over all these logs. I'm sorry, little guy. <laughs> Check it out. That's the smallest one of the day, but we got him on this little pink ice fishing jig. Little paddle bug jig. I casted clear out beyond this log jam, and I got two bites before he took it. All right, see ya, buddy. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Pretty good day, caught some brook trout and a bonus tiger trout. So all in all, pretty good day, I can't complain. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.